Hi there everyone, it's Misty here from the Joy Fit Elf. Welcome to day 13 of this trip down memory lane. If you are new or if you're not, if you've just stumbled upon this, I am spending the 24 days leading up to Christmas sharing with you some of my most favorite holiday cards from the past five or six years. I've pulled from a festive Friday playlist. I've pulled from former holiday card series. Um, I've just gone back through and picked some of my most favorite cards. So in today's video, I'm going to be using some product from Stamping Up. Um, these are all older, so you maybe will find some of this stuff used, but there's not going to be links, etc. And if I mention classes, just really disregard it because, again, I'm really just essentially just re-uploading these videos for you guys to see. So in the description box down below, I will have a list to all of my former holiday call, excuse me, holiday card series playlist, along with my festive Friday playlist. And then I will also have a link to my Etsy shop. So if you are interested in supporting me or per by purchasing cards, you have the opportunity to do so. Don't forget to leave a comment. Every single video is, um, we'll have a giveaway attached and it is open internationally. So in this video, I am mass producing cards. These actually turned out to be one of my friends. They're his favorite. And if I still had the stamp, he would probably ask me to make them for him every single year. So let's watch me make this really pretty purple and silver card set. Missy, welcome to the Jolly Fed Elf, and welcome back to another card in my holiday card series. So, <laughs> I know like the last couple of cards I made for you guys, I've said, Oh, well, these are you know, these may be the Christmas cards that we send out this year, and the fact of the matter is, no, I've changed my mind. Today, I'm actually going to walk you through um, making of my Christmas cards, and I'm going to make 26 cards. So um, using this stamp set, Nature's Peace, I love this stamp set. This is probably, if not my favorite, one of my top three favorites um, for this um, holiday catalog, which if you haven't received your holiday catalog and you need one, message me and let me know. You can email me at thejollyfitelf at gmail.com. Um, it ends January 5th. So you're going to want to get the stamp sets that you want and make sure you pick those up. And then um, the occasions catalog starts in January and so does celebration. And let's just say you're not going to be disappointed at all. So we're going to use this stamp again. I'm going to use Peace on Earth for the front. And for the inside, I'm actually going to use um, this season always and the um, Dove. Sure, Dove. So we're gonna just use one stamp set. Now for the colors, <laughs> for the inside, I'm gonna use Whisper White, and for the outside, da -da -da -da, I'm gonna use Elegant Eggplant. So my husband and I were talking about Christmas cards, and he said, are, you, are we gonna send out purple and silver Christmas cards this year? Because, um, duh, that's kind of how I got into this whole habit, and we haven't sent one out yet, and I've been doing this for almost five years. So yes, we are sending out purple and silver Christmas cards. I'm gonna be doing a lot of embossing on this card. So it's gonna take a while. So this is what I'm gonna do. I am gonna walk you through or go through the entire process. I'm just gonna let the camera film until I stop. I'm gonna start my stopwatch. Uh, you'll have to, I have to apologize for my phone case. It's falling apart. So I'm going to time this to see in real time how long it takes and I'm going to end up cutting this video either really far down or just having it go in like 800 <laughs> speed so you guys can see the entire process. So I'm going to have Elegant Eggplant is my card base. I'm going to make the top layer out of Elegant Eggplant and then I'm going to make an inside layer um, out of Whisper White. I'm going to be using two different inks, or well, three different inks actually. I'm going to use my Versamark because again I'm embossing. I'm going to use Elegant Eggplant for the inside sentiment. And then I'm going to be using um, this Whisper White Craft Ink because on the back of my cards I have a personalized stamp that I purchased 
and um, that has my logo and all our inform my information on it and I'm actually going to stamp the back of my card. So it's going to be a little bit of an involved process but again I'm only making 26 of them and these only go to really close friends and family. So let's get started. Okay so I'm going to pull out and by the way this is how I store my cardstock. Um, I got this tip from Jennifer McGuire. I think everybody gets their organizing <laughs> tips from Jennifer McGuire. These are um, job tickets. I cut off the top and I labeled it with um, what the color is and they go on my shelf. Um, after the new year, I'll do a craft room tour for you guys. So I need 13, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. I need 13 for the top. And then I need, so I can get four out of each. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. So this was a brand new stack of cardstock, so I'm left with just um, four pieces. So yay. And then I need, I should have counted those whites. Oh, I forgot to start. Oh, here we go. Now we're going 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 7, 28. Let's see, do some math today. It's not 7. Yes, 7. <laughs> I never said math was, math was really good. I never did say that. Never did. Okay, so let's work on our card bases. So again, I need those 13. I'm gonna pull in my Martha, excuse me, Martha Stewart scoring board. And of course the score tool is missing in action. And don't ask me where my bone folder is. It's been gone for about a week now. It's left me. So I'm going to make a top floating card. So I'm going to um, cut them at four and a quarter. I'm going to score it five and a half. So I'm going to do that first. I'm going to take all my cardstock and I'm going to score it at five and a half. Bring in the paper trimmer. So now all I have to do is cut them at four and a half, or four, excuse me, four and a quarter, and we have our card bases ready to go. It's a pretty nifty trick. Now, you can easily, you know, do 25 or do less, but you're going to have an extra piece of paper anyway. You might as well just make, go ahead and make that extra card. Okay, so I'm going to do the other elegant eggplant, and I'm going to cut these at four by five and a quarter. And I'm going to save these cardstock pieces because we may be able to use them later. Because I haven't, I actually haven't really designed this card. Okay, I apologize that I was off camera. 
for half of that, but that's all right. <laughs> so I'm gonna take my whisper right and I'm gonna cut it the exact same way, four by five and a quarter. And you may have noticed at the end there, I went ahead and did two sheets because I was getting a little tired of cutting. So um, Whisper White is a tad bit thinner than our um, color cardstock. So I'm gonna go ahead and do two at a time with these. So I'm cutting them at four. Gonna make sure they're even. And then I'm cutting them again, landscape at five and a quarter. Okay, so that's all of the cutting, and it took 13 minutes to cut 26 card bases, and then 28 purple layers and 28 white layers. So let's keep going. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and stamp the back of my card bases. Oh, pfft. look at that, I missed two pieces. Here we go. I really don't even need to cut these, but I'm going to just in case. It's like, wait a minute. I better count to make sure I didn't move the card bases. That would have been cry cry. Sheesh. Two, three, four. Eight, nine, ten, ten. Yep, okay, all of our card pieces are here. Okay, so I am going to take, um, the, we have a couple of extra of these layers, actually both layers. So I've never stamped a stamp before, so I probably should have done this sooner, but let's try it out and see what it looks like. Make sure it's going to stamp, and if it's not, I can get my stamp press, I'm uh, not my stamp press, my um, stamp -a jig So I'm just going to go, can you see me? Straight down. And straight up. Oh, that's not bad. Cool. Can you guys see that? Now this is going to stay wet for probably a very long time. So I'm going to um, do all these, clean my stamp off, but I'm going to put these to the side so they can dry. So here's my, here's my back of my card. There we go. Okay, so let's go. Okay, that was the very last one, and you can see how far it dries back. It's really actually pretty pretty, fairly pretty, really pretty, I don't know. <laughs> so, but you can see that my stamp is grotesque. So I'm not gonna take this to my 
stamp and scrunch looking stamp and scrub looking like this I'm gonna go ahead and grab out a baby wipe we are at 22 minutes I don't think you guys can even see that because of the glare there we go okay so let me take care of this bring in my stamp and scrub get off some of the mean meanness out of this <laughs> the main stuff okay so let's one side is wet one side is dry and now we're dry yay hopefully that didn't shake you around too much okay Let's move on to our sentiment and our dove. So we're gonna do that in elegant eggplant. Move that back out of the way. Elegant eggplant, uh, elegant eggplant on our whisper white. And again, I have never stamped this stamp before, so let's line it up. Let's make sure I get it straight. I'm sure a couple of you are like, that's not straight. <laughs> some of them, some of the logos aren't quite that straight. That's for sure. But you know what? I'm a crooked person. I always have been, probably always will be. It's a tragedy of justice, really. It really is. Okay, so let's ink this up and try not to stick your finger in the ink. All right, let's see how this stamps. Can you guys see that? Ooh, it is pretty. Is it straight? It looks pretty straight to me. Yeah, let's go with that. Of course I over stamped. This, I've never used this ink pad, or haven't used it yet. And this is the new style and it's very juicy. <laughs> Very, very juicy. Okay, so I'm gonna do the dove last because it's like, we've got a good thing going, let's don't screw it up. So I'm gonna turn this sideways. All right, so let's clean this stamp off. It got a little dirty. <laughs> As you can see, I have a couple of mistakes. Um, one of them that I had to get a brand new piece of paper, but I had cut extra, so that's not that big of a deal. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and stamp the dove. I'm gonna also use Elegant Eggplant for that. And I don't have a smaller block. I've ordered the new blocks, or the blocks from Stampin' Up! And hopefully it'll be here later this week. And I don't put my um I don't have to look. I don't put the stickers on my clean clean mount stamps or the clear mount as Stampin' Up calls them because they seem to stick better without the sticker. So how do I want him to just like right there? Let's just do it. Let's just see what happens. Oh, that's pretty. He's pretty, right? Eh. I don't think I like it there. <laughs> I don't think I like it there. I guess if it has a smudge, that's where it's gonna go. But other than that, let's just put him down in the corner. I like that. Let's do that. Uh, 
Okay guys, so you know, I'm the queen of mistakes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dry this. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my white gel pen. I'm gonna color over it and no one's gonna never know. Once I dries, no one will ever know I made a boo-boo. My problem is I'm pushing too hard on my stamp and I'm getting a lot of over inking. So I need to be way more careful. So let's see if I can do this a little more carefully. I don't want him to be at a weird angle. Dream a little bit, there we go. Okay, tap, tap, tap. There we go. There we go. Nope, it did it again. Okay, so this stamp is giving me hell. So let's stop using it <laughs> and find my elegant eggplant marker. This is gonna take a little bit more time. Let's see how we're doing time-wise. My phone keeps locking, even though I asked it not to. We're at 33 minutes. So let's see how this does. And if we just can't do it, we'll just forego it. No, that's better. Because I like the way that turned out color-wise because it's not quite as dark as the um, ink pad. So I'm a little messy. So I'm going to go um, do something about my hands and then we'll keep going. Okay, now I'm back. And I got most of it off as much as I could. Hopefully it won't. And I've got a baby wipe. And the wipe is white, so I don't see any more purple coming off. So let's move on to our next layer. So I'm going to mount this stamp on my Fixer Fiscus stamp press. I love this stamp. And again, I haven't inked the stamp up, so let's do a practice run to see how this goes. I'm going to um, take that sheet that we practiced on earlier, and I'm going to... Move that out of the way because it's probably distracting. I'm going to put my powder bag over it. Get ink up. You really want to do this with a brand new pad or one that you've just re-inked. I have a reinker coming. Hopefully it'll be here on Wednesday. This looks pretty juicy to me though. Okay. So excuse my head if it gets in the way. I'm going to try to stamp this in the center, and I'm going to push down as hard as I can. Apologize if I'm rocking the camera. That looks pretty good. Let's put some embossing powder. I'm using some silver embossing powder. And this is not by Stampin' Up. I think this is Stampin' This. I've had it in my stash for a while. Okay. 
Okay, so not bad. So I'm gonna heat this up. I love it on that purple. That's gorgeous, y'all. It's gorgeous. Okay, so I'm gonna stamp 25 more. Wah, wah. Okay, so <laughs> my heat gun dad, like D-E-A-D -E dad. We are 53 minutes in. I have three card um, layers stamped and embossed, and I have three card layers stamped with embossing powder, and my heat gun isn't working. So I'm gonna let it cool down. Maybe it just overheated a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and keep going. I'm just gonna keep um, applying embossing powder, putting them off to the side, and then hopefully um, we can finish. And I will, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera off because you guys are, don't really need to watch all that, I don't guess. And so um, you've seen the embossing. And so when I come back, we'll have everything done and we'll be ready to put this on to a card. I only got nine of these done, um, but I don't want to keep going because I don't have a way to melt the embossing powder. So I'm going to set those to the side and we're, I'm going to go ahead and make finish this one, one of these with you so I can go ahead and get this video up for you. So I have a new heat tool coming from Stampin' Up! It should be here Wednesday, so yay for that. Um, I stopped at 58 minutes, 29 seconds. So about an hour in, I was more than halfway through, I guess. So yeah, let's keep going. Okay, so I'm going to take my card base, and there's the back. As you can see, and I'm going to go ahead and fold this in half. And I'm going to attach the inside layer first, and I'm going to use some snail for that. Look at that mistake. Aren't you guys glad there's two sides to every paper? I know I am. Man. Beautiful, you so pretty. Okay, so for this outside layer, I want to add some twine. Now, Stampin' Up! makes a very similar twine to this, and I just haven't picked it up yet. But this is, um, I think it's Silver Sparkle. Yes, Silver Sparkle Hemp Cord from Lawn Fawn, and I'm going to wrap each of my card bases with some of this. So I love that it comes on this little, this, well, I'm supposed to be able to just pull it through. It's stuck. Is it not really gonna pull? This is just not my day. I had a hard time with ornaments today and now I'm having a hard time 
with the twine. <laughs> Boots, seriously. This day is full of crafty fails. There we go. We're just gonna we're just gonna take it off. We're just gonna take it off. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna use my corner rounder. I'm gonna use the 3 inch inside and I'm gonna round all four corners. And then I'm going to put a little bit of snail on the back. Did I just wrap it around? Um, let's see what it looks like wrapped around. Of course, that's going to take a whole lot more twine than if I just go around. And now I don't even know if I like this. I don't know. I just don't know. Do it like this. A little bit right there, a little bit right there. Of course, this is really only going to work on the ones that I've off centered, but that's all right. What did I do with my scissors? Okay, then I'm gonna tie a bow, so this should be plenty. Okay, you can fiddle with that for days. Let's roll up a glue dot. I'm gonna roll up a glue dot to put this underneath that knot to keep it steady. And I'm gonna trim the ends of my bow. So let me find my dimensionals.
Okay, I'm gonna add some dimensionals to the back. And you guys know I'll probably use a ton. There we have it. That's the card. I think it turned out really pretty. Of course, there are a million mishaps along the way, but that's what happens when you craft, right? All right. Thanks so much for watching, and I apologize that this video didn't quite go as planned, but that's all right. That is all right. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.